Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you guys how to make a chicken, broccoli, cheese, and rice casserole. I've been making this for a long time. It's one of the first things I made when I moved out of that house. So it's pretty simple and it can feed a good amount of people or you can just eat on it for a couple days and it only takes a couple ingredients. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm just chopping up some broccoli and you just wanna make sure that they're bite size or mouth sized my mother used to always just say like make sure that it makes sense to a person for putting it in their mouth same for the chicken i'm gonna go ahead and i'm just gonna cube it up i'm just using some chicken breast you could use chicken thighs honestly you could even use turkey or ground beef for this but i normally use chicken but whether you use chicken breast or chicken thighs as long as it's boneless it should be fine now I'm seasoning with pepper, garlic. I like a lot of garlic powder in my chicken. Uh, the chicken's a little wet right now, so I actually added probably a little more seasoning than usual. I used some minced garlic, some salt, and then I used some cayenne pepper as well. Now like you could do this with whatever seasoning you want to do it with. I'm gonna get some olive oil and throw it in this pan here because I'm gonna cook the broccoli. And I'm gonna cook it, I'm gonna cover it too. I'm also massaging in some extra oil and I'm gonna season the broccoli as well, just similar to how I season the chicken so that it all kind of goes together with the garlic, the salt, the pepper. And yeah, then I'm just gonna turn it all around in this pan. I have the oven on at 350 and I'm gonna cook this covered so that it can kind of steam it so it's not super crispy. Um, I got a wok pan out, don't judge me. Normally I would just use a regular pan, but I could not find my other regular pan. And I'm gonna add a little more seasoning. Like I said, the chicken was a little wet because I had just defrosted it. So I'm just adding a little bit of extra seasoning. Now I got some butter. I'm gonna put it in this dish and then I'm gonna microwave it till it melts. Right now I am just pan cooking this chicken and broccoli, making sure the broccoli doesn't get too soft because you don't want it too soft. Okay, now the butter is all melted. I might have put it in for a little bit too long, but it's fine. Butter is quite resilient. Now I'm gonna take some Italian breadcrumbs. Really important, do not put regular breadcrumbs. It's gotta be Italian breadcrumbs. Everything else is kinda like, mm, mm It's just not the same. And the consistency here, you want it to be like crumbs. Like if it's super wet and just butter, then it's not the right consistency. You want it to be crumbly. Yeah. Put that over to the side and I got everything cooking. I am gonna go ahead and get this pan out and I'm gonna get this sauce going. So I got chicken broccoli cheese soup by Campbell's. Now you could totally get the store brand as well if they have it. Like I'll get the Walmart Great Value brand of the chicken broccoli soup. It is the same thing. Literally tastes the same food line, just didn't have it. So that's how we ended up with this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna thin the soup because right now you can see it's a very thick soup and we want it to spread all throughout our entire pan. So I'm gonna, it's about like a cup of milk. You know, it's close to a cup of milk and you're just gonna mix it all in to thin it out so that it's more of a runny consistency. That way it can spread out throughout the entire dish. Now I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to spray this 13 by 9 pan. And I'm just going to get some spray in there, make it so nothing sticks. You could use butter, you could use oil, you can use spray, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to go ahead, as you notice, I took the top off of the broccoli. I wanted to let it kind of sear a little bit. I like a little crisp to my broccoli. I don't like it super soggy. And I'm just going to put it in the 13 by 9 pan. We're going to let this chicken cook, and I'm going to get this rice going. Now... You can cook your rice to whatever the directions is. Um, right now I'm doing two cups of rice, so that means I'm gonna have four cups of water going into it. You can read the back of your rice or not, you know. I believe in you, you guys can all cook rice, right? But I guess I threw this part in there just in case someone didn't know how to cook rice. And I'll put a little oil in there. I always put oil in my rice so that it doesn't burn or stick it to the bottom. I'm gonna take the chicken and put it in that pan. 
And then once your rice is done, you're going to go ahead and you're going to add the rice to the pan as well. Now the way that you can tell that your rice is done is there should be no water in it. Now if for some reason there is water at the bottom of your rice, you're like a newbie and you're still learning how to cook, you can totally still drain it as long as the rice is totally cooked. If your rice is fully cooked through and you have a little excess water, you can totally drain that out of there. But in my case, the rice came out just the way you'd want it. I'm mixing in about a cup of cheese, just like random cheese. Ideally, it should be like sharp cheddar cheese, but this is just like Mexican mixed cheese because I get that most commonly. Now I've added that sauce that we set aside earlier and you wanna roll it all in there until the rice is all covered in that yellow sauce. You don't wanna see any just white rice just chilling, sticking out. Then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get that breadcrumb mixture that we had and we're gonna go ahead and just put it all over the top and just spread it out evenly try to make it as even as you can and then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna take another cup of cheese and just throw it right on top now if you want to make this more low carb you can do it without the rice in it i used to always do this without the rice but my boyfriend likes the rice in it and you're just gonna bake it at 350 for 20 minutes Alright, well that's all I have for you guys. Have a great day. Love ya. Bye.